in North Middletown where police believe four people plunged over a dam and perished. Sometime this afternoon, a 17-foot boat drifted towards State Dam about a half mile downstream from Miami Valley River Park in North Middletown, just west of Franklin. The tri-hull sea sprite outboard made the drop intact, but police fear those on board did not. Possibly as many as four people were in the boat. From the condition of the boat, it appears that the engine cowling, the top of the motor, is off of the motor. It, it, it looks like they might have been having some engine problems and uh, got swept over the dam before they could do anything about it. Lieutenant Hoffman is spearheading a rescue effort, which includes the use of a hydrofoil hovercraft, the only boat police would consider for such a dangerous mission. Due to the rain, we are having high water, and uh, as you can see, it's a very angry-looking situation there at the dam. As far as making a search right around the dam, it's, uh, at this time, it's almost impossible due to the way the water is. After nearly a half hour of fight with a dangerous current at the base of a dam, efforts to recover the boat are unsuccessful. And for now, the lone fishing boat, minus the crew, swirls caught in a river's raging grip that just won't let go. And right now, Andy Banker is live at Miami River Park there in North Middletown trying to gather any additional information. Andy, you've been there for about two hours. Anything else you can tell us about this river mishap? Well, really nothing new, Don. I'm about a half mile north of the dam where authorities found the boat. But we have learned that this is probably where the boat went into the water. Now, authorities have apparently found and impounded a van and a boat trailer right here. Through that, they have learned the names of the people who were probably on board the boat, but they're not releasing any of those names. But we have learned that it was likely a mother, her son, her son's girlfriend, and possibly one other person on board the boat. Now, what they were doing out on these rising and raging waters during the middle of all this recent rainfall we've had is still a mystery. And uh, given the uh, extremely dangerous condition of these waters and the darkness, Authorities say they will have to wait for the search to continue until daybreak. Reporting live along the banks of the Great Miami River near Middletown, Andy Banker, 22 Alive News, Nightside. Now let's go back to Don.